The oceans cover seven-tenths of the world's surface and in places reach a depth of six miles, a huge world of water over and through which moves every kind of creature and thing. Some of the things are the Navy's own and some belong to foreign powers. Finding out whose they are, where they are, and where they are going is the job of the Navy's ocean systems technician. Everything that moves on or under the sea creates its own sound patterns which reveal a great deal about its size, speed, and location. Traveling great distances underwater, these distinctive sounds can be intercepted by listening device to monitoring stations for recording, analysis, and processing. Here, ocean systems technicians maintain a vigilant around-the-clock surveillance of the sounds recorded in their area. The ocean systems technician's job is to recognize the difference between the various recorded sound patterns, for example, between that of the undisturbed ocean and the sound signatures made by all types of vessels. He selects significant features for analysis, recording vast amounts of data in computer language so that it can be further reduced, analyzed, and plotted. Is it a friend or foe? Where is it? Where is it going? Important information is then relayed to a command center for further action. While one branch of the ocean systems technician rating performs this vital kind of electronic sentry duty, men in a second branch of the rating are responsible for maintaining and repairing the complex equipment used by the first group. Constant vigilance requires the constant maintenance testing, adjustment, and repair of highly sensitive instruments whose accuracy and dependability must never falter. Ocean systems technicians usually work at isolated shore stations and only rarely aboard ships. It's a demanding, sometimes repetitive indoor job requiring long watches. While it is not the glamorous kind of oceanography featured on television, the ocean systems technician's work does call for a special kind of man or woman. To qualify for this rating, you must have normal hearing and color perception, 20-20 correctable vision, high intelligence, and must qualify for a secret security clearance. A recruit must first complete training at the ocean systems technician school. He will learn basic mathematics the physical properties of water and its effect on sound propagation and transmission. On-the-job training will include how to operate and maintain power supplies, tape recorders and special electronic equipment. The student will learn all the tools of his trade, from power and hand tools to electronics test equipment and electrical measuring instruments. Basic knowledge useful in many civilian occupations, such as electronic repair and data processing. Ocean Systems Technician is a new rating, with less than 1% of the Navy's enlisted men and women involved. The Ocean Systems Technician is a sentry on the nation's front line of vigilance, where months of training and seemingly endless hours of watching culminate in moments of critical activity, when the nation's very security may seem to be at stake. When these times come, no job in the Navy is more important than that of the Ocean Systems Technician.